everywhere. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support to support funding for Medicaid, a crucial program saving millions of lives, including Latino lives. Eager to balance our budget on the backs of poor people, my Republican colleagues have proposed extreme cuts to Medicaid. Medicaid has served and transformed millions of lives, especially in minority communities. Medicaid has been a vital lifelong for Latino communities, which face disproportionate health crises from diabetes to mental illness. Since 2013, Medicaid expansion has cut the rate of uninsured Latinos in half, and Latino youth now make up over a third of children on Medicaid. This is a critical program and critical coverage for Latino communities. It means a little boy struggling with chronic depression has access to mental health care. It means a working daughter can spend more time at home caring for her mother with Alzheimer's. It means less medical debt, fewer hospitalizations, and greater access to preventive care. To cut costs, Republicans have suggested we impose work requirements, cut funding, or repeal the Affordable Care Act altogether. All of these ideas would strip health care coverage from poor Americans who depend on Medicaid. Republicans claim they want to balance our budget. In reality, they want to slash critical programs for underserved groups. The single mother of three who spends all day taking care of her children should not lose access to health care. The disabled senior who can't survive outside of an assisted living facility should not lose access to health care. The little girl with leukemia whose immigrant parents can't afford a cancer screening should not lose access to health care. I urge my colleagues to protect Medicaid and invest in expanding it. Millions of Americans are depending on it. I yield back. The gentlewoman yields back. Pursuant to Clause 12A of Rule 1, the chair declares the House in recess until noon today.